If you've been injured in a car wreck, we want to help you. Call Lanier Law Group. Every day we go toe to toe against insurance companies fighting for the rights of accident victims. Hire a heavyweight. Call 1-888-CONSULT. If you're injured in an automobile accident, there are many different types of insurance that may come into play. You may have medical payments coverage on your vehicle, on your policy, or in the vehicle that you were riding in. You may also use your health insurance to pay for your medical bills. If the at-fault driver carried inadequate insurance or no insurance, you may be able to use uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage from your own policy or a family member's policy. You can also look to the vehicle that you were riding in for uninsured and underinsured. And in North Carolina, your rates will not go up because you make a claim against your uninsured or your underinsured. There's no fault assessment for making a claim against your uninsured or underinsured. If you were not at fault in the accident, your rates should not go up. If you were on the job at the time of the automobile accident, you may collect your workers' compensation benefits while simultaneously pursuing the automobile coverage. You may use your health insurance to pay your medical bills related to an automobile accident. Even if you have Medicare, Medicaid, or Champus, or TRICARE, you may be able to file your accident-related medical bills on your health insurance. If you don't file your medical bills on your health insurance, then those bills may have to be paid out of your recovery, whether it's a settlement or verdict. But if you use your health insurance, a new law that went into effect in October of 2011 has an implication on how those medical bills may be treated by the insurance company or by a jury. If you have filed those bills on your health insurance, then the amount of money that the insurance company or a jury may consider as damages may be reduced to the amount that was actually paid by your health insurance. If you use your health insurance, you may receive a notification in the mail that your health insurance is claiming subrogation rights. Subrogation means that your health insurance is seeking to be repaid for money that they paid on accident-related bills. Just because you receive that notification doesn't necessarily mean that there's a valid subrogation claim. We would need to take a look at the specific plan language in order to determine if there was a valid subrogation interest. And even if there is a valid subrogation interest, we have great success at negotiating a reduction in that amount. Even if you have to repay your health insurance, it usually ends up being significantly less than if you had to pay those medical bills out of your recovery. There are many types of compensation you may be entitled to when you've been in an automobile accident. Payment of your medical bills, pain and suffering, any kind of permanent physical injury or scarring, as well as time missed from work, mileage. You may be entitled to punitive damages if you were hit by a drunk driver or someone who was driving willfully, carelessly, recklessly, with intentional disregard for your safety. The insurance company may be required to pay your property damage, which may include the total loss of your vehicle. It may include the repair of your vehicle if it's not a total loss, and it may include a rental car for the replacement of your vehicle while the repairs are being made. If the at-fault driver failed to carry insurance or failed to carry adequate insurance, you may need to look to uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage. You may also be able to find coverage for underinsured or uninsured motorists in the vehicle in which you are occupying. The way we receive attorney's fees at Linear Law Group is through what's called a contingency fee agreement. We don't get paid anything until you receive a settlement or until you win your case. There's no circumstance in which you will ever write us a check or have to give us any money. Our attorney's fee comes solely out of any uh, recovery that you ultimately obtain or a verdict that you ultimately obtain in court. If you've been injured or a loved one in a collision with a truck or a uh, tractor trailer, this is a completely different analysis. There are separate federal regulations that apply to truckers, including them keeping very detailed records of whether they've been on the road too long and whether they've been following all the rules of the road. You may have a claim not only against the particular trucker or what he has done in the particular wreck, but for the company for hiring him based on his bad driving record or for putting him on the road when he was too tired to be operating one of those extremely heavy vehicles. If you've been in a collision with a truck, by definition, it's a very serious matter. 
if you've been hurt in a collision, we're going to do everything in our power to settle your lawsuit. We know that everybody comes to Lanier Law Group wanting to resolve the case out of court and that very few people actually want a day in court. Many people call and ask us if they are required to give a recorded interview to the insurance company. We advise our clients not to. There is one exception. If your claim is an under or uninsured policy claim, you are required to cooperate with your insurance company, which may include giving a recorded statement. If we represent you, we of course want to be present for any recorded statement that you would ever give. Is there a time limit for filing a claim? Yes, there is. In North Carolina, the law requires that if you haven't settled your claim within three years of the date of incident, that you file a lawsuit. If you don't do so, your claim will be lost forever. In the event of death, the law requires that a lawsuit be filed within two years of the date of death. Can you settle your property damage claim without also settling your personal injury or bodily injury claim? The answer to that frequently asked question is yes, you can. It is important that you're careful when you do settle your property damage claim that you not at the same time sign away your rights to your bodily injury claim. How much will the insurance company pay for pain and suffering? There is no set formula, but the amount that you receive for pain and suffering is tied to the degree and severity of your injuries, the amount and kind of medical treatment that you receive, and several other factors that we can talk to you about. Do you have to go to court? The vast majority of personal injury claims in North Carolina settle before there's ever a trial. As long as we are able to help you get the insurance company to pay a reasonable amount for your injuries, your claim can settle without ever going to court or even without a lawsuit being filed. However, in cases where the insurance company does not pay a fair amount, we have the resources and the wherewithal to file lawsuits and take your case all the way to a jury trial. When it's your help, your time, and your money at stake, call in your law group. Hire a heavyweight. Call us today at 1-888-CONSULT.